Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Wi-Fi Wednesday. My name is Kevin Z, founder and CEO of My Wi-Fi Networks. And this week's going to be short and sweet. We're working on a lot of really good things and I wanted to uh, kind of show you all the stuff that's been new, kind of do a little recap of new things that have happened over the last uh, few weeks. Also, a big call out to please vote on the new stuff that we're going to build next. We have the feedback section, as you all know. I'll be pulling that up in a second to show you where exactly you can vote. Uh, and that's exactly how we prioritize the next stuff that we build. Anyways, welcome to the call. So last uh, few weeks, we launched a whole bunch of amazing things. Uh, we launched Twilio MMS. We launched automation testing, the ability to test an automation to any uh, SMS, email, or any endpoint that you'd like with one click. So that's great, not only to test it yourself, but if you ever need approval for your client, for example, you want to um, you know, create a text message campaign or an email campaign, and you want them to just see exactly what it's going to look like before you go live, you can quickly enter their cell phone number or their email and put it right in the box when you're testing it with one click, get it sent to them, and they'll be able to say, hey, I got it, make these changes, or this looks great, go ahead and turn it on. So that's really, really valuable. Uh, also, we merged analytics, so the analytics view that you have in the main admin is the same as you have in the location center, so they all match up. If you have presence, it looks really awesome. We also read a lot of the presence graphs, so those look really cool. Uh, the presence and reports as well, as I just mentioned, you can have that not only in the new uh, merged section, but you can also have that in the scheduled report. We also launched broadcast, which is really huge. This is the ability to send on-demand actions. So whereas the automation section allows you to do things on a trigger, so the trigger could be you know somebody connecting, disconnecting from Wi-Fi, inactive, so they haven't been there in a few days, or it's their birthday. Those are the triggers that we use. This is a trigger of your mouse click kind of thing. So like this is a trigger of right now. So you can filter a list of, I wanna send you know, only this gender and this age group at this time frame, at this location. I wanna send just that targeted group a specific text message, MMS message, like picture or video message uh, through text, uh, also email or send it really to any third party destination that you want. So that's awesome. That's now live for everyone in uh, certain plan types. So I'll go through that in a minute. Uh, this is what it looks like. So in your contact section here, you can filter out specific status, a method of connection. So Facebook, email, SMS connections. Um, this is really important if you're doing like SMS, you really wanna just focus on people that have connect, you know, logged in with Twilio to begin with. You have a much higher delivery rate and that's actually legal in most places. You need to have an opt-in for text messaging. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Uh, if you are gonna do a text message, make sure you have method of connecting being SMS or email, you know, however you got that email with permission or that SMS number through uh, email form with permission to do that. Uh, with devices, OS, you can filter any of this and then, you know, you can break down to let's say 351 guests and then trigger anything you want. So this is also something we're working on right now. Uh, right now we have these integrations, which are great. We are gonna be adding to this list with hundreds of new integrations. So a lot of them are gonna be through uh, Zapier, but a lot of them are gonna be direct as well. So if there's something that you're using that's direct that you want us to build, let us know. Right now we're building Integromat. We already are starting to work on Integromat and we are working on ManyChat. So ManyChat will also have a direct integration. Anything you want to be direct, let us know. Uh, we're doing a pretty advanced Zapier integration where it's gonna be just like it's native. So it'll look like just like it's direct. It'll be right inside of our dashboard here. Uh, but in many cases, it'll just work through Zapier. And depending on how many triggers you're sending, um, you know, Zapier is very cost effective. You can get hundreds of thousands of zaps per month. So it has much more granular control. So we're gonna be working with both of those much more uh, deeply and also Integromat. We're gonna be adding an app to Integromat. So you'll be able to do all kinds of amazing things uh, with your own API, uh, with, uh, with the My Wi-Fi API, but inside your own dashboards. So that's gonna be awesome. Uh, we also have a new logo generator. So as you all know, we used to generate campaigns uh, with Facebook. That was great while it lasted, but as you all know with Facebook, all good things come to an end. With that specifically, they turned off the API. We've been trying to get it back. Um, they're just being really tight on who they let use the simple API. Problem is they wrapped up what we were doing, which is just getting two images uh, and the name of the page into a bigger API that gives you all kinds of insane access to the page. Now we don't need that at all, so it's just, we got bucketed into this group that, you know, it's us and a lot of other vendors, you might be from hearing a lot of other people as well, used to be you know, doing cool things with Facebook and they just turned all, a lot of good things off. So um, we uh, found a, actually a much better replacement, which I'm, which I'm talking about here, not to like be, you know, bring the doom and gloom of Facebook. Uh, Facebook's great. We still work with Facebook, we're still integrated with Facebook. We have uh, Facebook login, the like box. We're probably gonna get the uh, image generator back, but that's just a simple thing. 
I think at the end of the day, if you really want the images that are on Facebook, you just go to the Facebook page, you right click save as the logo, save as the wallpaper, get those two images, upload them into the campaign. You know, it's an extra 30 seconds of work and you get what you want. Um, we used to do that automatically, yeah, but now it's manual to do that. Now we have something even better, I think, where you just type in the domain name of the business. So anything.com, .ca, .au, whatever, you know, any, any valid website that has uh, you know, a logo on it, it, we have a little spider in the background that goes to the, and, you know, goes to the back, checks that exact logo, pulls that up, and automatically creates the page for you, including the logo. So that's really cool. We also launched some revised subscription plans. So I've had a lot of requests about people looking to get in at different plans, looking to have more value with the plan that they're on. So let me just quickly recap a lot of the changes that we made uh, with our payment plans in addition to show you guys some cool things that we changed over here. So in the contacts page, as I showed you, here's where you would do a broadcast. So for example, you have three contacts here. You can set an action to, you know, for these three guests, what do you want to do? I want to send an email, right? Or I want to send an SMS message. Very easy to do. Uh, but here we added a couple things. So first of all, we split up these buttons. So you can create a new list easily. But to be honest, most of the time you create a list just by filtering. So as you filter a list, you can see devices are mobile. You can see gender is male. I don't think this, these users have that kind of information. So you can see visits are new. So here I have like new mobile visits filtered down in the last seven days. Here I can create a new list very easily. In addition, you can create a new list like that and you can view existing lists with one click. So this will bring up your existing clicks. This is really the reason why we split up these buttons. It's because they, before it would take you two clicks to get to that, you'd have to go over here and then click there to get there. Now, if you want to pull up an existing list really quickly, you can just click here, boom, and in like two clicks, you have that list displayed. And the big thing about these lists is that because they're using smart filters, they're always up to date. So if you have a time frame of all time, for example, and you have, um, you know, show me all mobile visits that are new, that are not returning. So these are people that are, have only come once. They've only connected one time to your Wi-Fi. Um, all time. And this list, if you save this list now, every time you load the list, this number will be different. The number of people in this list will be different. If somebody comes and connects for the second time, they'll automatically get removed out of this list because they're no longer a new user. Okay, so this is really valuable. And what you can do with this list is at any time, you can say, okay, uh, you know, busy Friday night, great. Saturday morning, not so busy, okay. Let's send a message to people that were here last Saturday only. And like, not to bother the people that let's say were there Friday night, right? They're not going to get a text from you. Hey, come again. No, I'm not going to come back to your place. I was just there last night. And you know, you got to be really aware of where, how you're sending these messages. So you can get really granular on who you're sending these messages to. And it's just a great strategy to bring people in that you know that have been there one time that were there last Saturday, this Saturday slow, and you can do whatever you want using that rule. We also added the ability again, we had this, we took it away, we added it back, the ability to filter uh, or to sort, sorry, the sort columns here. So let me just get more than one contact. Let me clear this list. So I have three users here. As you can see, I can sort by visit, sort by date, sort by session time. Most of the time you want to sort by date, you know, who's you know most recent or last person to visit in your filter. Uh, you can sort by operating system. You can sort by you know, any of the columns that we have here. Uh, but that's really, really cool. Um, so what I wanted to show you guys about the New plans, now we didn't change anybody's plan, nothing was changed whatsoever. Uh, we just have some new layouts over here um, that we actually changed the names of their plans. I thought that, um, you know, I got a lot of feedback that the names that we used to have were connect, automate, and scale. Okay, so nothing changed, just the name of the plan changed and we added a new plan over here called professional. Okay, so um, the reason we did that is a lot of people were saying, you know, the connect, automate, scale, like, it was difficult to remember. I didn't, you didn't really know which plan was better than the other plan. And give me some feedback there. If you guys have any comments or questions or, or you know, any really just feedback on, on the plans, the plans that we have, the price points that we have. Um, you know, we obviously do a lot of work always to make sure that we can you know, work with the right partners. Uh, we always work at MSPs, agencies, professionals. And I thought that you know, while Connect, Automate, Scale, they were you know, good ideas and, and maybe good names for plans. It didn't really speak to the kind of people that were meant to use it. Uh, standard or the base plan uh, is really just the base. It's the core features. It's literally just the platform, the ability to view some stats, to capture data, and everything's available in a WYSIWYG editor. Okay, professional is really for the pro. 
somebody who really wants to do marketing automation, a solopreneur, somebody who's getting into it, but really does a lot of the work themselves. So if you do the work yourself, you don't really need your clients to log in, but you want automations and you don't want to spend $300 a month. This is why we created this plan. So here we have these plans here, the professional plan. It has 10 locations. Uh, you get automations and broadcasts and presence included in this plan. The agency plan, which is the same as our automate plan, same as some legacy plans that we have, have really all features. The client manager included the ability to have clients, sub-users, sub-user access, managed access, scheduled reports to be sent at certain times of day. So I want to send every Friday an email or report to this person or the ad server, the ability to run ads yourself and run ads inside the platform. Partner uh, is unlimited locations. It's really just more of an access point deal um you know if you have 250 or more this is usually more than 250 250 is just what you get with the 899 a lot of partners they pay 50 or they get 500 or a thousand uh locations up front or access points up front and uh, that's how they uh you know really go on an annual plan we do a good deal you do a discount so if you guys have any you know large scale locations that have thousands of access points um, this is just a baseline cost we obviously can get more aggressive on the annual um, if we have well more than 250 access points. But if you guys have any questions at all about this, please let me know. Uh, again, not to be confused, we did not change anybody's plan. No one was taken off a plan or put on a plan without your permission whatsoever. We just changed the names of the plan, plans and we added a new plan over here. All right, so if you guys have any questions about that, please let me know. Um, that's live now on our website publicly and inside your dashboards. So uh, if you want to change your plan, you can a one click. Uh, we also offer pretty good yearly plans. Uh, we have two months free if you pay for the year in advance, uh, and all these new plans are revised. So if you guys have any um, you know questions about that, please let me know. Uh, but generally, the monthly plans, the ones that you're all on, uh, you can switch around. We actually have a lot of people on annual plans. Um, if you're smart, you save money for the year. If you know you're going to use this system, um, you do it kind of at the end of the year, and you can save in taxes. Uh, so it works a lot for that reason. Uh, but if you just want to go month to month, we have all these plans now available with the professional plan being a new plan right here for $179 a month. You get automations, broadcast, present analytics at 10 locations. So this is the same price that many, you know, many locations pay more than this uh, for one install for automation, the access for broadcast and automations. So if you think about that, you have 10 locations, you, use, you, know, you get $200 for one, and you have nine basically paid for. All right, you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help. If you have any questions about the platform, how to get things set up, anything we can help with at all, please chat with our support team at wifi support.com. And thank you guys again for joining me live. And this replay will be posted automatically. See you guys very soon. Can't wait to share all these new features with you. Oh, yeah, and one more thing, actually, I mentioned to tell you guys about this. Um, please vote. We're going to be, um, you know, kind of putting together a brand new sprint for a lot of the development work that we're doing. So if you go to feedback.mywifi.io, uh, you'll see a few sections here. First of all, platform features, any features that you want us to uh, have and build, please vote over here. Um, I know a lot of you guys use this already, so please keep voting here and please, uh, you know, just really helps us prioritize what we're going to build next. Um, I'm going to be doing a ton of marketing academy training very shortly. So this is all the automation testing or all the automation uh, training, all the Zapier training, some pricing strategies with those uh with those uh, you know, new ways of doing things, like giving client access to send their own broadcast, which is pretty, pretty powerful. So, um, you know, strategy for hotels. We have the Academy, obviously, that uh, has a lot of good stuff. That's available at academy.mywifi.io. We are also going to be uh, going to be, sorry, let me just type that down. So we're also going to be adding a ton of new stuff in the Academy. We're going to be looking at the uh, this list right over here on feedback for what to build. So the Academy has some really good stuff. If you have not gone through this already, I highly recommend that you take some of these courses, uh, how to sell social Wi-Fi, how to sell to hospitality, sell to restaurants, um, post sale. So once you make the sale, a lot of people have been asking me about this is um, I'm like, hey, we have a whole course about post sale. So as soon as you sell this, so like ideally you go to the clients, you sell it to them. If they're not interested in buying it out front, you just say, hey, look, I'll give you a seven day trial. I'll plug in an SH50. At your location is completely plug and play. It takes you like, you know, less than five minutes to provision the whole thing. Plug it in the location, put a sign up on the wall saying free Wi-Fi, your chance to win, you know, whatever they want to give away, something of small value. And, you know, at that point, a lot of client, a lot of partners and resellers and digital agencies, they come to me and they say, hey, look, I'm able to get to that point. That's great. And then the client's like, all right, now I'm willing to pay and they pay me and I don't know how to upsell them. 
you know, I don't know what they need. I don't know like what to say. Um, you know, I don't know what to do. So I'm like, Oh shit. Like, you know, we got to really create a really good training course about this. You know, after you set up the clients, exactly finding out which hardware to use, whether you're bringing your own, which is usually the case, or you work with what they already have. Um, then you onboard them. It's not just about, Hey, you know, you have access, you paid me, here's your login. That's it. There's actually, you know, a lot of work you guys got to do. You got to schedule an onboarding call with their team, make sure everyone's using the platform. They all understand what it is. They all have sub users set up, ask if they want to see any features demo to them. Um, you know, Hey, what's really important for you. Uh, let me show you how to do that yourself. And th this is the idea behind also, you know, even calling this plan, um, what we have over here, calling it the agency plan, because with sub user access, um, you're really running an agency. You know, you're either a standard, which is either you're using it yourself for a local business or you're just getting started. You're a professional. You know, you're actually doing this for your clients. You are the pro that they come to you. It's all like DFY, like done for you. They're, you're doing it for them. So you're setting up their automations. You're setting up broadcasts, giving them presence analytics reports, but you're doing the work, right? There's good money in that, no doubt. But that's really what a professional is or what it was called. An agency is a group of professionals, right? So when you have an agency here, it's really, you know, you're not necessarily doing the work yourself. You have a bunch of deals, a bunch of things going on. You don't have time to do the stuff yourself. You need clients to log in and do the work for, for you, essentially, um, maybe paying you less, but you have way more clients. They also pay you more to get client access. It's really funny how that works sometimes. Um, you know, on this plan, it's great if you do all the work for them, but sometimes you're like, hey, can I just get a login to do things myself? And you're like, yeah, sure, but that'll cost you, right? And you can always upsell them, charge 50 bucks a month, even charge by user. Again, with the agency plan here, you have client manager, client access. You can set up unlimited client clients or sub-users here. So um, you know, it's not a matter of how much it's going to cost you. It's how much you can charge the clients and how many users they want and how you want to break that down. Um, you can also schedule reports and run ads in the ad server. Okay, I think I've blabbed on a lot about uh, that pricing plan. If you guys have any questions specifically about your plan, what plan you want to be on, any questions for me directly, please chat with us. I do monitor that chat uh, section there, so I'm always uh, usually answering live. Um, I always love to get direct with a lot of our partners. So, um, yeah, if you see my face there, that's usually me. Uh, please let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm happy to help you directly. Uh, and thank you again for joining me live. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.